Hey guys, so tomorrow is grocery shopping day and I just wanted to make this quick video to show you what I have in my pantry. Every time you go to the grocery store, you always have stuff left at home from the week before, um, extra things that you pick up, um, extra meals in your freezer. So I just wanted to show you what I'm starting out with this month. Um, we usually always go grocery shopping on Wednesdays and even if we have enough food to get us through a few more days, we still go grocery shopping every Wednesday and I still use my whole budget of $100 a week. But I'm realizing with how much food I have right now and it being grocery shopping day tomorrow, like there are a few things that I need, but I don't really need a full haul, which is good that my budget right now is only $60 a week for this month because I'm doing a no spend month. If you don't know about that, watch my previous video where I talk about how we're not going to spend any money this month except for necessities, which are our bills, gas, and half of our grocery budget. Well, almost half. Um, instead of $400, we're going to spend $250. That's my goal. If we get under, that would be even great. Man, $200, that'd be even better. So I'm going to show you what we have in our fridge and our pantry so you can see what we're starting out with because this is what we're also going to incorporate into my meal plans, which I'm going to share my meal plan with you tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. We always end up just spending our grocery budget every month or every week even though we have tons of food left over and we could eat from our pantry. So maybe a week or two eating from your pantry is a good idea. Skipping a week now and then of grocery shopping, I might do that in the future. But for now, I will just show you what I have. First off, I want to show you I am cooking up some potato soup because it is, it is the last day before I go grocery shopping, so we're using up some of the stuff we have a lot of, which is potatoes. So let me show you my freezer first, just because, you know, this has a lot of stuff you end up with um, for a long period of time. So I don't really have a light in here, so this is just going to have to do. Right here I have a pasta dish that my mother-in-law gave to us. It's just a freezer meal to have for emergencies if we don't want to cook. We have some chicken drumsticks. I have these two um, veggie hot dogs just to throw in something to ignore the ice cream, my husband's ice cream. <laughs> um, we have two little racks of ribs that were leftovers, one chicken breast, and then on the side here I have a couple emergency frozen dinners if we don't feel like cooking, some sausage, and then this is a piece of salmon, and this bag is just some pot stickers for a quick dinner for Josh and I. So, without even grocery shopping for a week, we could have ribs, chicken, chicken, um, pasta, and pot stickers and rice, and then a piece of salmon. So, that could go for a long time already just from that shelf. But these are just like backup stuff I have for when I don't feel like cooking. It's always good to have something like emergency-ish in your freezer. Up here, I have chicken nuggets, fish sticks. Lots of extra tortillas, so I realize I really don't need to buy any tortillas this week. Um, some frozen bananas. I have some raw um, cashews, some sliced almonds that I like to throw on salad, and some uh, sunflower seeds that I like to throw on salad. So got all of those. Back there, I have some frozen chili, some frozen mango. This is some frozen country gravy, and that is for like um, biscuits and gravy with some sausage for like a quick thing I can throw together. Also, that chili is just, I made a big pot of chili. Whenever I make a big meal like that, I'll freeze half of it. And then that is some chicken pot pie soup. So I can make that and put some biscuits on top and have like chicken and dumplings. So that's like another freezer meal I can do with what we already have. And then in this drawer, I just keep my ice packs, but I also throw some goodies in here. So there's some ice cream. Let me find it. And then some little frozen candy bars in there. So that is our inside of our freezer, what we have already. So it's already pretty full. Um, I'm going to try and make my meal plan around some of this, but I'll also be getting some fresh stuff as well. Um, on the door of our fridge, we have our frozen veggies. So we have corn, peas, green beans, broccoli. I have some cut up peppers, so like if they're about to go bad, I'll just cut them up and put them in the freezer. Down here I have frozen fruit, 
peaches, mango, blueberries, raspberries, this giant bag of frozen fruit from Costco I've had forever, some chia seeds, raw almonds, this is to make some apple juice, and when I bought those blueberries, they um, were starting to not go bad, but like one of them had some mold on it, so I took it out, um, and I put the rest of the blueberries in the freezer just so that they don't go bad, so I was catching up. So I mean, this is pretty full, considering... We went grocery shopping a week ago, and we're going tomorrow, but we have a lot of stuff. Then in our fridge, good thing to do before you go grocery shopping is to go through your fridge. So we have an entire loaf of white bread, an entire loaf of sourdough bread, and these English muffins I got at Aldi last week. If you haven't seen my haul, I'll link it below of my um, haul last week, but I only had one English muffin this week, and we're almost done with our tortillas that we got from Aldi last week. I have some cottage cheese. There's like three eggs in here. Um, let's see. In here, we are almost out of pepperoni. I'm going to use the rest of this cheese in my potato soup. We have the American cheese, which we haven't opened yet that I got at Aldi last week. We'll probably have grilled cheese with the potato soup tonight for dinner. So that will get used up some. And then I have like half of a thing of hummus. So I probably won't buy any hummus this week. You're going to see in my grocery hauls that um, one week I'll get a lot of snacky stuff with produce and then one week I'm going to get a lot of like protein and um, meal things with produce. So I buy like meal stuff once a, or one week and then the next week I buy more snacks and last week was a lot of snacks. Um, this bin just has stuff for the kids in it. If they want to have a snack they can just grab it. So this has some um, nuts in it, granola bars, string cheese, oranges kind of fun stuff. And here's just some cheese and salami um, that my husband got for Christmas. In here, I like to have this already ready. I chop up that romaine and have salad already ready to throw together for my kids. Um, let's see. Leftover pancakes. Some of them are little, some are big. We'll probably have those for breakfast tomorrow. I still have this milk that needs to get drank drunk and drink <laughs> needs to get um, consumed this week and then I have my whole thing of almond milk from um, last week and I have like a quarter of one from the day the week before almond milk stays good for a really long time if you didn't know that so we'll finish this first I'm gonna use some with my potato soup today and then I'm not gonna buy any more milk this week because we still have a lot and we have some juice so we're good with that I have just gonna show you a ton of oranges from my grandma's tree so I put them in the fridge just so that they stay good a little bit longer but I am going to definitely sorry you're gonna do something weird for a second there you go we're gonna have um, we've been eating a lot of oranges and then in here I just have a cucumber I have um, what else apples two bell peppers shredded carrots that I throw in salad, and like half a bag of baby carrots left. On this side I have apples left, four avocados, a package of blueberries, and some little cuties left in there. So we have a lot of stuff left. And then just, you know, normal condiments. And then this is almost out, so this is a big deal. So, going through this, I'm like really seeing we have a lot of food. So, maybe our grocery haul won't be that hard to hit our $60. And the pantry. Up here is a bunch of cereal. Um, I've gotten couponing, so I get it for free usually, so we stock up on a lot. I just have like um, baking things. So I can make like cookie dough or pancakes or brownies or I don't know whatever we want. There's oatmeal in here, um, breadcrumbs, seasonings, all of that stuff up there. In here we just have some snack stuff like a couple of these like little protein cookies and like Lara bars and just things we want to like grab on the go. In this bin we have like um, candy and stuff from Christmas so like cookies and Skittles and M&Ms and all that stuff is in there. Um, you can't really see but I have Pasta noodles, always. I have like four of those. I have some chips right there. 
Um, and then in the back, I have pasta, macaroni and cheese, cornbread mix, rice, and beans. Then down here, I have a lot of canned items. So I have tomato sauce, sliced tomatoes, um, spaghetti sauce, canned chicken noodle soup. I have canned green beans, canned corn, enchilada sauce. So all of those um, I have on hand already. Down here I just have some Nutri-Green bars and I have an extra ranch dressing. I also have an extra Caesar dressing. We try to have those at all times because the kids love salad. And then down there is just like extra, extra stuff. And I just have this like nacho cheese, dried beans, and some crackers. So let me get off the floor. You can see we have a lot of food. I'm going to try and make at least three of the meals from there. And then we also have stuff on here, which is just like our overflow. We have a lot of food. <laughs> um, I have onions, more oranges. Down here I have croutons and crackers, graham crackers, cinnamon graham crackers, cereal. This pancake mix from Costco comes in a two-pack and it lasts forever. Um, some granola, syrup, flour. Down here I have croutons, um, this flatbread mix, these like ramen noodles, vanilla wafers, more Cheerios. In the very back I have a giant thing of rice from Costco. And then this, this is just like sugar stuff. I like don't like it in the pantry because we've gotten ants in our pantry before. So I don't keep anything with sugar in the pantry, I just keep it on here. So I have the raisins that I bought last week we haven't opened. Um, some Fig Newtons, Oreos, almond butter, marshmallows, and then just sugar and powdered sugar and more syrup. Ooh, you're going to have to go for a ride again to get this back in. Alright, so that is everything I have, and I have a bag and a half of potatoes. That's like after making potato soup. So we definitely have a lot of groceries to start with. That is everything that we have that we're starting our month with for our no spend January. Now you can see that this no spend January might not be that difficult for us because we really do have this much food and I mean not everything goes together into a meal perfectly but we have do have those meals that we always have ready just in case we don't want to go to the store that Wednesday or we don't um, feel like cooking what's on the meal plan for that day. We have a couple alternatives that we can switch to. Um, so yeah, I will be grocery shopping tomorrow. I'll show you my week one meal plan and take you to the store and show you what we get. And I don't know exactly yet um, if we're going to go to more than one store. That's going to depend on what the ads look like. I haven't looked at them yet or made my meal plan yet, so it's going to be a surprise. So I, I definitely challenge you to take a look at your pantry and maybe go a week and see if you what you can make do, or even not even just only shop from your pantry, but make meals that like utilize the things that you have already so that you can save on your grocery budget for a month or two. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like this video. Um, I think that's all I have for you. So I'll see you tomorrow with my grocery haul and my meal plan. Thanks for watching. And I'm on the floor because immediately after I stopped filming, I fell off my chair. That's real life for you.